hi and welcome to my channel here we will see two most important thing first convert any string into any png image like this here i am showing demo so you can see and understand and when we write a code so all the things in front of you okay so that's easy to understand all the things so you can see capture.png and this capture.png this image we will use as a captcha in a contact form so here are a demo for contact us form so there's two things we will discuss and write a code a line by line we will understand okay fill out this form and see how it works So I hope this time uh, this captcha will work. Just replace and submit. So thanks for contact us. So this data, <coughs> sorry for that. This data will save inside my SQL database. So let's get start. Stdoc XAMPP and here are a NetBean. We are creating a project, uh, PHP project, and type your project name it here. Uh, string to image. Okay right and this project uh, is stored uh, means uh, this is in stdoc I'm using XAMPP so this is the simple HTML code just little bit zoom in so you can see clearly okay right and just remove this line of code and zoom in so you can see so this is my project just copy open a browser type it localhost and paste it here and enter so now it's blank but we will uh, make something at here so we need to uh, one more file which is captcha.php I'm creating that file php dot uh, captcha.php okay so this file uh, will uh, we will uh, convert any string uh, to an uh, to an image as a PNG so convert it this is the string means this is the text and we are con we will convert this into a PNG image so we have created the image it here so 150 and 50 is the height and width width and height okay right and then we will set the image of uh, set the image of this uh, background color of that image because we are creating the image okay a string to image so we have a set it's a bg color okay and two five five two five five two five five this is the rgba color right this is rgba color and this is the text color of the string and as a image okay uh, whatever text on the image that color should be like sky blue okay if you don't know what is rgba color i will show you in a minute how we can get uh, rgba color okay this is the text on the image okay just i'm showing you how we can get rgba color just right click select the mode rgb and this three first three value just copy and paste okay whatever color you are using use a, as a color picker right and image located so two things we have done just next is image string so image string it's a margin padding okay and font size image this is the image which, uh, which we have uh, created okay okay and 430 and 25 this is a font size and uh, this margin padding something like that and the next is the text color okay this uh, this this string we will convert it as a dy dynamically okay later on and text color a string and text color so now we will set image thickness 
so it's look pretty good okay image string and image thickness so this image and type it its thickness and it's a 3 and set the content type we need to a content type as a PNG so I'm setting uh, it's a content type is image as a PNG okay and image or PNG uh, we have a converted it image PNG and semicolon this is the image right and we uh, will image uh, image color uh, delocate we have located the image color and now we will delocate that color uh, background color and the text color of the image whatever text on the image okay that's a color and col background uh, color okay text and background color both of them we have a delocated and the last thing which is the image uh, we have to destroy okay whenever whatever okay whenever we will uh, refresh the image should be destroyed and next uh, text will show okay so you can see okay uh, it's working fine just open new tab and right click and save it as a oh sorry just right click save as a uh, captcha.png and whatever you can give it its name and you can see so now uh, just convert it uh, and change the text loading and this is the loading okay, this is not a text this is uh, this is an image as a PNG okay this is not your uh, you can see clearly okay so uh, it's a refreshing okay so for making a dynamic uh, string so we can use as a PHP captcha okay so for that we will uh, use some string okay some characters so characters you can type it any characters a b c d e f g whatever okay x y z but you are so uh, seeing this has a dollar okay we will remove uh, it later because there is a problem dollar is also uh, so indicate the Mm, indicate the variable okay so in the characters we will remove the dollar and for each loop uh, I mean just for loop and we want to a five characters a string okay and uh, this is the uh, a random string okay a random string and the characters we want to uh, 0 to 5 okay 0 is a 1 okay and less than 1 a string length whatever length it has okay five time it goes and it's randomly generated characters means uh, when you count 0 to 4 means 0 1 2 3 and 4 and 5 okay also uh, 0 is included so this is the random string just replace this just typed we have and just see okay but uh, there is a problem uh, now we have to check where is the problem okay so problem is you can see there is a dollar okay but I am recording uh, uh, as a voice at this time okay but just I am finding I know uh, there is a problem you can see dollar uh, is there I have to remove just remove this dollar and it's fine okay and now you can see whenever you will refresh it's working fine okay so that's pretty good and add character string okay right and uh, this image string will stored in a session so we can use this string uh, we can compare uh, this uh, string uh, with our uh, input captcha right so first we need to start the session session start we have a started session and we uh, the randomly generated string we will store inside a uh, session so we can compare uh, with our input captcha okay captcha text and we have a stored okay so next part is just you uh, you can see okay uh, it's working fine and next part we will uh, 
create uh, HTML files and the code will be available it here. So thanks for watching.